We're going to go over your workbook pages. These pages should already be done. So the first you had to compare and contrast um, the boys and the girls is in the cartoon on the previous page. They already gave you traits of both. The girls are confident and organized and the boys are unsure and disorganized. And you had to go in and do actions and interactions that they had and how they were both the same. So the girls sit up straight, ready to work. They suggest topics and ask the boy for his thoughts. A boy is leaned over, he looks bored or tired or unhappy. And he replies with a negative comment. Now your, yours might not be exactly the same, but it should be similar. Uh, both are in the same class. Both have to complete the same assignment and both react to the teacher. If you need to pause the video to look at that in more detail, you can. So on page 94, the first thing that you had to do was this uh, closed reader habit at the bottom. And it says uh, to underline words or actions that make each character stand out. You could have also highlighted. Uh, I am no Drake. I am their sworn enemy. That makes them stand out. I thank you for a crust of even the coarsest bread. Bread is a luxury. Why should I feed a beggar? All of these tell us a, a little bit about these characters. You soft you must care for each other and your barn is a palace, I thank you. So those were things that made the characters stand out. Use those character traits and words and actions that you underlined on the previous page to complete a Venn diagram. So Alfred only was very no. His actions, he says he's an enemy of the Danes, separated from his army, gratefully accepts a pl place to sleep in a barn. He disguises himself, then tells Perdred who he is, hears negative things about himself. You might not have the exact same thing, but it should be similar. Now Perdred is generous and welcoming. He gets Switha to give Alfred bread and gives Alfred a place to stay. He tells Switha that they must care about others, gives Alfred a place inside after learning he's the king. So he is very generous and welcome. These actions support that he is generous and welcome. Both of these characters are Englishmen. They dislike the Danes. They're both polite and humble. You don't have to have the exact same thing, but it, could, it should be similar. Then on page 98, you had to write a short response comparing and contrasting the two characters. And it said to include two details from the story, two details. So if we turn to page 98, Alfred and Kurdred are both polite, humble, and respectful characters. Even when Kurdred is afraid the stranger at his door might be an enemy, he opens the door anyway. Alfred gratefully accepts the oaten cakes, even though he is used to better food. Alfred does not show anger when he overhears Swift's comments about how cowardly the king is. When Kurdred tells Swift that all people must care for each other, he shows kindness. Notice the quotation marks when they are quoting the story. When Alfred finally reveals that he is the king, his actions show that he respects his subjects. Kurdred's actions also show that he respects the king when he invites Alfred into his home. So your answer should be similar to this where you're comparing and contrasting and you have to use two details from the story.